Okay, so here we are back in the scene, and yeah, I did make a mistake um, in the last video when we were modeling this uh, glass here. Um, as I forgot for some reason in the video, um, the order of the modifiers does matter. So you'll see here that um, the modifier stack for this uh, glass object here uh, now I have the solidifier, solidify modifier first, followed uh, by the subsurf modifier. We'll close down the property so you can see a little bit better. Um, if that, uh, keep in mind that the modifiers are applied from top down. So on this glass, um, first we are uh, applying the solidify modifier to it then we are using the subsurf modifier to smooth out the result. Um, if we do it the opposite way and we put the subsurf first you can see how it changes. So these arrows here allow you to change the order in the modifier stack so we'll put solidify first and then subsurf. With that the way it is crease adjustments here, you can see the rim of the glass, actually do work. Um, so that's, that's about what we want there. I don't know why I forgot that in the last video, but there it is. So at any rate, um, I just added an extra loop cut, refined the shape a little bit, have the modifiers in the right order, um, and this is the final result that we came up with for the glasses. Okay, enough said about that. Let's move on. Um, I thought we would make a nice uh, flower to uh, put in our vase here. So let's do, um, uh, we'll do Shift S, cursor to selected with our flower vase selected here. Um, just so we can have our flower um, approximately in the right position. All right, let's go to a blank uh, layer in our scene here. I'm going to pause the video for a second and turn on uh, my screencast keys. And okay, done. So I've activated my screencast uh, script. Start the display. There we go. So now you can see uh, the keys I'm pressing. All right. Now, uh, a whole series can be made on flowers and vegetation, uh, grass, trees, which. Um, actually sounds kind of fun. I may do that sometime. I'm going to move the cursor up a little bit here. So in orthographic mode, just move it up so it'll be more towards the top of the uh, of the vase there. Okay. But for right now in this scene, I figure we're just going to make a, uh, a simple a simple flower because it's going to be uh, small on the table, kind of in the background. We want it to look nice, but we, we don't need it to, you know, be super, super detailed. Okay. So, um, in object mode, let's shift A, and we'll add a UV sphere. Um, eh, 32 segments is fine. We probably don't need that many uh, because it's going to be so small, but we'll, uh, we'll leave it at that. All right, so first let's go into edit mode. Uh, a to deselect everything, Z to go into wireframe mode. Uh, B to box select, and let's select, um, we definitely want to get rid of those, so we'll hit X vertices, yeah. Um, let's get rid of one more row, B to box or border select, select that bottom row, X vertices, okay, so this is what we have now for our sphere, we'll pick that, whoops, um, control tab, go into vertex select mode, and only select that center vertex, O, to go into um, proportional editing. Um, this is the proportional editing icon down here. You'll see there are a couple of options here. Uh, for right now we just want it on enabled, which O oh, will toggle that on and off. This is the fall off for the influence of the um, proportional editing. Uh, I think I forgot about this in an earlier video. What I was looking for was random fall off, but um, you can see there are some different options here, sharp, fall off, linear, constant, and these do actually come in handy, but for right now we'll keep it on smooth. Just wanted to mention that real quick. Anyway, uh, grab, uh, G to grab, and I'm going to use my mouse wheel to scroll up the influence of the proportional editing, 
Z to constrain to the Z axis, and we're going to pull that down. Uh, some, something like, like that. So we, we have something that, that looks more or less like that. This is going to be the center of our flower, that little part in the center that the petals come off of. Let's go back into object mode, smooth shading. Uh, I'm not going to put a subsurf or anything on that. That's fine just the way it is. Uh, seven to go into top view. Um, all right, let's hit through. Well, let's see. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I want to go into this view. I don't know, just because I'm used to, to working this way. What I want is for the Y axis, the positive Y, to be pointing towards the right side of the screen. Uh, it's, it's just the way I prefer it. I'm going to put the 3D cursor over here now. Um, Shift A, a plane. And in uh, edit mode, I'm going to move uh, all the vertices so that the uh, origin is not not quite at the very end, but close to the end there. Uh, I'm going to hit O to turn off proportional editing too. All right. So um, let's select these vertices here. Let's extrude them out. Let's extrude them again. Uh, that might be good enough. S to scale these down. This is going to be um, our flower petal here. So I'm going to select that vertex, shift to select the next one, scale it down a little bit. This one and this one, scale them down. Okay, so this is the approximate shape of our flower petal here. Um, to our petal though, I am going to add, um, well, I'll tell you what, let's hit L. Okay, that, that is its own separate object. Um, I'm going to add a modifier to it, uh, subsurf. Uh, bump it up to, yeah, we'll view it on level two, that's fine. Um, select these two vertices, I'm going to pull them down some. Select these two, pull them down just a bit. Uh, maybe we'll even select these two and pull them up a bit. Just so our flower, flower petal kind of has that nice curve to it. Now, if we want to, we can do um, Control R, add a loop cut right in the middle. And uh, let's see, what if we Alt S? Alt S to scale along the normals and bring that down just a little bit. J j just so it has that little bit of a curved shape going along that longitudinal axis there. Now, we're going to use this object uh, in a particle system, which is the reason why I wanted it to be pointing. I wanted the, the up direction of our object here to be going in positive Y uh, because that works, uh, that's going to work in our particle system here. I'll, we'll see that here in just a minute. Now if you create an object and it's not facing the correct direction, you know, you start your particle system and they're, they're backwards or something, all you have to do is rotate your original object uh, to fix it. But if you start out with the up direction and the positive Y, you shouldn't have to worry about that. All right. Now we're going to pick our uh, flower center. As a matter of fact, let's instead of sphere, let's name that flower center, and we'll name uh, this object here flower. Oop. Flower petal. All right. So let's go to our flower center. I'm going to go into edit mode, uh, A to deselect everything, and I'm going to alt right click uh, that edge loop, I'm going to shift alt click that one, uh, yeah let's do this one too, we'll, we'll pick those three edge loops right there, and we're going to make a vertex group from, from these selected vertices here. So let's go over to um, our vertex group uh, icon over here. And under vertex groups, with those selected, we'll hit plus, and instead of group, we'll name it uh, petals. All right, and then hit assign. So now the petals vertex group is assigned to these vertices. If we hit A to deselect everything, we make sure petals is selected over here and hit select. There you go. You can see that, that that's what it selects. Now if we go into um, 
let's see, weight paint mode, we'll see that the petals vertex group here is all red, and the part this is the part that is selected that we're going to use to generate our particles from. The blue part will have nothing selected to it. Uh, I mean, no uh, particles will be generated from it. Um, I guess that's all we need to know about that for for this tutorial right here. Um, anyway, with this object selected, let's go over to our uh, vertex or particle group uh, icon over here. We're going to hit plus to add a new particle group. You can see there's already some particles on there. We're going to change this from emitter to hair, and then bam, we got a lot of hair sticking out of our object here. Um, a thousand is a lot, so let's change that down to, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, let's try 80. Yeah, 80 looks about good. Um, turn on the advanced button here. Now let's go down and actually change these hairs so that they're, um, instead of path, we're going to put it to object. And then we're going to... I'm going to use the eyedropper here to pick our petal object. Okay, so now the um, particles that are the hair particles that are emitting from our object here are now instances of our, our petal here. Let's pick this and pick smooth shading. Okay. Um, let's see, do we need to? I don't know. not liking the shape of those so much so let's let's see here let's go back in the edit mode here um, you pick that I'm going to uh, GG slide it out here some I'm going to add another loop cut here scale it uh, select this scale it a little bit more let's see scale this one scale this one too just to make it a nicer flower petal shape I think okay there we go all right let's pick our go back in the object mode we'll pick our uh, flower center again and um, let's go back to our particle tab now that looks great but the petals are coming out from the wrong place and doesn't look anything at all like a flower. So let's see what we can do to fix that. Um, let's see. Uh, we need to... Uh, well, let's see. First, let's select our ver under vertex groups density, where we want the particles to be emitting from. Let's click that. We only have our one particle, uh, one vertex group in there, petals. So let's pick that. Okay. So now all the petals are now emitting from our vertex group and not from the center here like they were before. So that's a step in the right direction. Um, let's see. I want to get these emitting in the direction of the normals. Um, okay, let's see. Turn on rotation. We're going to need that. Okay, let's see. Where Where is it? Um, for okay hold on one second while I look for that all right it's under um, rotation which we needed on instead of velocity hair we'll change that to normal now it begins to look a little bit more like a flower all right we want to, uh, sometimes if we change the size here, okay, we want those to be bigger. So we have something like that. Well, let's increase the random size so some of them are smaller. 
uh, we'll introduce a little Brownian distortion to it there, I think. It looks pretty good. Okay. Um, for rotation, if we turn the phase uh, a little bit negative, and then turn the random a little bit positive, that'll kind of give it a little extra bit of uh, randomness, <laughs> I guess. Um, that is, I think, probably about all we'll need. Uh, let's see, 80. Let's try, let's try 50. Maybe that looks a little bit better. Nah, I don't know. Um, tell you what, we'll try 70. Kinda, there we go. All right. Not too bad. I think that looks pretty good for flower. Um, may want to make the size just a little bit. Let's see. Let's make them just a little bit bigger. Okay. Yeah. I think that looks pretty good. Um, we're going to be seeing this from far out of the way. So uh, if you're making a close-up of a flower, you'd of course want the petals to look a little bit nicer. Maybe apply a solidify modifier and put some different textures on them and whatnot. But uh, for right now, this um, looks pretty good, about what we want. All right. Let's... Uh, Go back into perspective. Let's bring our scene back. Hold shift and just bring everything else back. We got a giant flower poking out the window here. Okay. All right. Now I think um, with our flower center selected, if we just scale it down, I don't think it's going to work quite right. But let's try it. Scale. Looks like everything's so far so good. As soon as we left click, boom. The petals look huge. Um, I think we can select the petal here and just scale that down until we get to about where we want. And that, that works. Um, the other way to do it is to, uh, we can apply the particle system, uh, make everything real geometry and scale it all together. I think that works just fine too. But in case we want to make changes, I don't want to apply it just yet. All right, let's put this here. Double tap R to free rotate and just kind of rotate it somewhere that looks kind of nice. That's, yeah, the rotation is messing up our particles, but that's fine. Uh, if we put that, whoop. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, rotate Z a little bit, turn it that way some. Uh, shift D to duplicate our object. Uh, move it over here. Uh, rotate around the Z axis. We'll turn it around that way. Uh, let's see. Rotate Z. Turn it around that way. Um, we'll pull this one up a little bit. Move it a little over. Double tap R to free rotate it a little bit. Okay, I think. Well, for, for right now. There. There, we'll, we'll just we'll just do that. Um, we can arrange these a little bit better um, later, and we can put some flower stems in there. But let's just look through the camera and see what it looks like. Okay. Not too bad, I don't think. I think that looks like some exceedingly large flowers on there, but um, yeah, those are those are a little big. Um, let's uh, scale down, scale that down to somewhere around there, I think. And our our petal is still here in the scene, so let's scale that down. There we go. Scale, scale this flower center down. About like 
the other one. Move it around like so. There we go. That looks a little better. Um, we can put some uh, some flower stems on there. I don't think they're gonna be seen, but you never know. Um, especially from from this one on the top here. So let's uh, zoom in there. Hit A to deselect everything. Uh, well, let's see. We'll select that flower. Go into edit mode. Let's make sure we only have that selected. Um, Shift S, cursor to selected. Uh, so you go back in the object mode. Um, Shift A. A lot of ways we could do this. Um, let's go ahead and add a uh, curve, and we'll add a uh, bezier or bezier or however you pronounce that. We'll add a bezier curve. All right, and there is our curve. Uh, let's rotate on the Y ninety, so it's facing more or less up, up and down. Center on that object, uh, scale it on down. Let's move it about where we want it. Let's see, we'll go into edit mode here. Turn on proportional editing. Just kind of put it about the bottom of the flower there. About there. Looks fine. Yeah, that looks fine. Okay. So now with that curve selected in our curve properties here, uh, we'll change the fill from half to full. Um, kind of scale it up a little bit. Resolution. We'll leave it one because we're not really going to see that too much. Okay, so now from back here, we can see a little bit of the flower stem. All right, that's the. Um, flowers in the scene. Let's go ahead and change this view up here real quick uh, to 3D view. Um, go into our camera view and let's change this to rendered just so we can get a quick idea of uh, what we have. how helpful that rendered view is at this point. Um, but it gives us an idea, anyway, uh, of what we're working with here so far. All right. I think that's a uh, good place to stop with this video. We've um, made some flowers, uh, discussed what we did wrong with the uh, glasses in the last video, and one more, one more thing, um, because in the next video I want to start working on uh, doing some texturing, at least uh, at least the beginning stages of some texturing. Anyway, um, these windows I mentioned before I think are, are too wide, too wide 
So let's go into edit mode and see what we can do here to fix that. Um, let's make sure everything's deselected on the building. Um, you go in the wireframe, uh, Z for circle, or uh, C for circle select. I'm going to select everything that looks like it's a part of the windows. Okay. I think I got all that one. All right, got all that one. Back in the solid, look at behind here. Shift C to deselect everything that we selected behind the building. Okay, so now we should have just the windows selected. Now in front view, um, let's change, yeah, individual origins. Let's uh, see what happens if we scale in X. Okay, that looks, that looks better, I think. Yeah. I think that looks better for, for those windows. Um, I'm even kind of, even kind of like the look of having these smaller windows on the side. I know that's not uh, probably not uh, the way that should be, but let's see what happens if we uh, scale X. No. Nope. Um, we put this back to uh, medium point, scale X, there we go, bring those in just a little bit, like so, uh, A to deselect those, L to get all those, L to get all those, scale X, bring them in like so, A to make sure those are deselected, L to select that, L to select that, scale, S to scale, X, those in. Okay. I think that looks a little bit better with the windows uh, more narrow. Um, of course, now we have to fix these objects. Uh, S to scale in the, whoop, the X direction. Just bring those, bring those in like so. S, X. Okay, I think that looks better. Um, th those windows were kind of uh, a little too wide. I think that looks much better. All right, in the next video, um, we're going to start working on uh, cleaning up the mesh, probably of one of these buildings. Uh, I haven't decided this one or this one, but we're going to work on cleaning up the mesh, getting it ready to texture. And then we're going to uh, mark seams to UV unwrap the object. Then we're going to um, apply a material and a texture. Um, that's the part when things really start to, uh, to look pretty good. So in the next video, we'll do that. And until then, I hope uh, you have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you next time.